Today we're going to be looking at the product ideas space on FileMaker Community. It's a new discussion space that FileMaker Inc. created back in late October, about a little over a month ago. Um, it is a public forum for developers to post future requests and then the upvote, downvote, and comment on those requests. This is in contrast to the uh, long-standing uh, submit a feature that was on that was on and is still on FileMaker's website. That method is private. You can't see what other people have submitted versus this new product idea space is public. And so the public aspect, along with the ability to upvote and downvote and comment, um, make this product idea space um, a great place to see you know, the crowdsourced uh, vision of what people want in the FileMaker product line. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into here. Um, you'll see this is the home page when you first uh, land on the product ideas space. And you'll be greeted with the mm, five or six most recent ideas that have been submitted. And then off the bat, you'll, you'll see a number here. This is the score. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how uh, the scoring al algorithm works, but um, I believe it's something close to number of upvotes minus number of downvotes. They may throw in some comment uh, waiting in there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the score, and then you can, you can see the number of votes here and its status. Uh, pretty much everything's active, but you have other statuses too. Um, you know, one being, you know, redundant, uh, one being already in the product line, and then another one being delivered. So at some point, uh, these things, you know, the active ones, when they get in the product line, they should turn over to delivered. So you've got these, these components, and then you can upvote and downvote with these little arrows here. Um, and then you've got, of course, the actual uh, product idea itself, the title, and then its description, who posted it, when was it posted, comments, you can go in and read more. So, uh, you know, these are the most recent ones, but in, in my opinion, the most useful and interesting part of the space here is to see the most, the, the product ideas with the highest score. So the quickest way to do that is to click on the show all here. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So you'll see now we're in a different view. It's a grid view. And um, while it does say up here in the sort that it's sorted by date create, created newest first, that's not true. Uh, when you click on the show all, it actually shows you the ideas with the highest score. So uh, this is where all, all the good stuff is. Um, I, I would love every one of these <laughs> that come into the product line. Um, there are things that, uh, you know, me and my team over here have, have dreamed about and wished many times, and we've all submitted uh, feature requests in some shape or form for most of these in the past. So, uh, but, you know, you can sit here and, you know, click on one and browse at your leisure, uh, just, you know, just read it in more detail. You can, you can see here, this is green. I've upvoted this already because I want it so badly. And uh, apparently, 68 other people, oh, excuse me, um, 66, 68, somewhere in the 60s, other people really would like this as well. And you can read people's comments and see what they're saying. You know, some people like to amend what was originally uh, posted on here to clarify some things or to add to it. Um, but you can get into a conversation and, and, some t and people on the um, on FileMaker's uh product management team will, will, will sometimes jump into these conversations. Also people from the product experience uh, group and, and, and chime in with their own thoughts. So uh, this is really a comments are where a lot of the, the good action is on the space. So um, there's other, besides looking at the ones with the most score, you can change the sort um, if you wanted to see things with the latest activity, you can. So this is kind of a way. You know, one, of, one of the long-term issues with this space 
is going to be keeping the content fresh, uh, making sure it doesn't get stale. And it's because, you know, once, the, you know, the things that have been up, upvoted the most, the ones that have the highest score, those will tend to stay at the top. Um, so, you know, if you, if you come here every month and you take a look and you go to the ones with the top score, you're going to probably see the exact same ones you saw before. So uh, right now, the best way to see new content is to you know, sort by latest activity, newest first. Um, and that could help. Of course, the things that have the most votes are probably going to still have the most activity. But that'll help. Regardless, um, in, in my opinion, I think there should be uh, some sort of time-based search on here where you can go, hey, show me ones... You know, show me product ideas that have had the highest score in the past month or the past week or the most comments in the past month. Past, you know, you can slice and dice based on time period, kind of like Reddit, um, and that can really, I, I think that'll really try to you know help with the freshness of this. But um, you know, as a V1, this is great. Um, this is wonderful, and I know the whole community uh, has been really excited about about the the product idea space. So. Uh, Please, if you have ideas um, and you don't see them on here, uh, post them, um, you know, and get a discussion started.